Hi, my name is Chris White with Corson Fire and Security. Hi, so we're going to talk about some common components with clean agent fire suppression. Your FM200, your Novak 1230, and your inerts. Every system is going to have some form of release device. This would be a, uh, a release device that you could possibly see uh, on, on the system. It's going to discharge the uh, cylinders or cylinder. Then you also have nozzles. You've got two primarily type of nozzles in a clean agent fire suppression. You have 180, which you're going to see close to the wall. The holes are going to be on one side. And then you've got 360, which is going to be primarily the center of the room on the ceiling. But manufacturer specific and agent specific, they're going to have the same coverage area. Then you also have your smoke detectors and your notification, your bell and horn stroke to warn personnel upon alarm activation. And you also have your abort switch. Abort switches are going to be primarily located by the exit and the aborts are there to allow personnel to evacuate out of the area. The aborts are not there to investigate whether you really want the system to discharge or not. Again, it's to ensure being pushed and hold, held that the personnel can properly evacuate. And then the last component of the system that you may see is what we call a maintenance switch. And it is there for general maintenance being performed so the system doesn't accidentally discharge. And then just like a fire alarm, you're also going to have some form of manual release that would discharge the system um, if the immediate need were to occur.